it one ocean city the other? Nothing. It just waved. And this is Balloon Animal Lessons number 71. Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and this week I want to teach you how to make a balloon fish on a fishing pole. Ooh, that one is a lively one. It's a really simple design, and this is one of those things that everybody will ask you to make once they know you know how to make balloon animals. Sort of like a sword or a flower or a poodle, balloon fish on a fishing pole, classic balloon animals. Let me show you how to make it. First, let's start with our reel. Get your gray 260 out, and you want to inflate it about five inches. Once you have about five inches, tie it. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. You want this one to be really soft. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your finger, put it on the knot, you're gonna push your finger inside the balloon, and you can go pretty deep, pinch the knot, pull your finger out. This is the tricky part. If you've made it too tight, and if, in other words, if the balloon isn't soft, you'll have trouble getting that finger out of there. If you're having trouble, give the balloon a squeeze. This would relieve some of the pressure, and you can work your finger out without too much difficulty put your finger back on the opening, let go of the knot while holding on to the outside of the balloon, and that should prevent it from coming undone. Push your finger back in again, grab a hold of the knot again, pull your finger out again, and now you have a really deep tulip, <laughs> a really deep tulip twist. That's hard to say fast. You're gonna wanna twist it on this side of the knot. You can see I have the knot right here. And then you want to give this part here a squeeze and push that knot back inside the tulip twist. It's important that your tulip twist is soft because our next step is to twist this one in half. Go ahead and split the tulip twist in half by twisting it. The tension of the tulip twist will keep it from coming undone on us, at least for a little bit. Now all this air here, we want to get to the end of it. So one thing we can do, we can twist a bubble off the end do a poodle tail and push all the air to the end. And there we have our reel and handle. A real handle. I got a real handle on this. Next, we want to make the pole for a fishing pole. Get your brown 260 out and inflate it about halfway. To find the halfway point, fold it in half, pull it down, pinch it right there in the middle, and you want to inflate it to that point. Let a little air out and tie. Because we want this one to be structurally stronger, we're not gonna squeeze it or stretch it. So go down a little bit, maybe about a hand's width, or the handle, and twist a section. Because this isn't stretched, and the balloon isn't soft, it's more likely to pop, so be real careful with this next part. We wanna make two large pinch twists. So about an inch and a half. What I like to do is I make the two bubbles, I fold it over, I twist them together, and then I take this part here and I roll it through the seam once. And that gives me two very large pinch twists. Now this is the spot where I want to twist my reel into. So get your reel, and right here where the tulip twist is split, you want to twist that right into the middle there. So what you do is you gently feed it under, and that's all you really need to do. So there we have the reel attached to the fishing pole. Now we have to make the part for the fish to attach to. Now we can give the balloon a gentle squeeze. And right at the end, we want some uninflated section. So that's gonna be the fishing line. We're gonna twist a small bubble, and then we're gonna twist another bubble up, and we're gonna pinch twist this bubble right here. So pull it, pinch it, and twist it. And there we have our fishing pole. But I like to give it some character. So what I do is I bend it over, and I'll give it a gentle massage, and then I'll give it a nice little arch like a fishing pole, as if I'm actually fighting with like a fish. But of course we need a fish to fight with, so get your green 260 out and inflate it about halfway. Let some air out, and tie. Give the balloon a nice stretch. We're gonna start with the end of the fish, the two back fins. We're gonna make two large flower petals. They don't have to be the same size, but they should be a little bit taller than they are wider. Next, give the balloon a squeeze. You're gonna to wanna to go up about four inches, twist a bubble. We're gonna make two pinch twists, each about one inch bubble. So twist two one inch bubbles, fold them over, 
twist them together. And then you can take this part here and beat it through the seams. And there we have our two pinch twists. Now we want to make another section this length, so about four inches in the balloon squeeze. These two here should be about the same size. Now we want to twist where the tail is here to where this part is here. And we have a very simple fish. But I like to give it a little bit of extra. So with the remaining part of the 260, I twist a small bubble. And I'll use the remaining part of this to give it a nice squeeze. Make sure it's soft. I'll fold it over, make a really large flower petal. To make sure it doesn't come undone on me, I'm gonna take the excess, I'm gonna feed it through the middle, and I'm gonna tie that excess back into the rest of the fish towel. Then I'm gonna take this really large soft flower petal and I'm gonna make two flower petals out of it. So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna twist it right in the middle. And now I'm gonna twist this section into this section. Then what I like to do is I'll take that little part here, this little tiny flower petal, I'm gonna put it through that opening there. And that makes like the front fins for the little tiny fish. We straighten them up a little bit. And now we have our little fish. But well, we gotta give him some eyes since, you know, he's a fish, they have eyes. For the eyes, I keep them really simple. Since this is a fish out of water, I make an X for each eye. This is sort of cartoony, but it usually reads pretty well. Okay, we have our fish, we have our fishing pole. Now we're just gonna take the end of their fishing pole and put it right there into the mouth. We're gonna take a small amount and just wrap it in once. And there we have the fish on the end of our fishing pole. Time to go fishing. And we're done with our fish on a fishing pole. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And while you're down there, you can let me know what you would like to learn next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button. If you'd like to learn more balloon animals, subscribe to my channel. I put out balloon animal lessons on Mondays. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister, reminding you that anything can be made out of balloons.